Our next stop on Library 101 for the Brazil R. Robinson Library talks about research databases. Research databases are a uh, smashing together of a bunch of different resources uh, that you can use when seeking academic resources and academic articles for your research. Uh, they allow access to the journals on specific subjects that you might be researching or might have a paper on and all of the information uh, most of the information uh, within these databases can be used in academic papers but you do always need to apply the crap test to access our research databases start out on the library's web page scroll down to research databases. It'll be the second on the left hand side in the blue area of the website. On the page labeled research databases you have access to all of the databases listed on this page as an SAU student. For detailed guides on searching all of our databases check out the how-to guides on the library's blog. As a review of everything that we've covered here in Library 101, the first rule of library re research is always don't panic, we can help. All right, the number one, uh, the next thing up was the library. Don't forget the library is staffed by librarians. It's probably the best thing about the library. Don't forget that the library website contains the library catalog databases and the library consultant information. That's how you can get a hold of those librarians that know what they're doing. Next up, we talked about the library social media. It's got book talk. It's got how to posts. Next up, after that, we talked about the library blog. We have our lib guides and how to guides. After that, we talked about the library consultants. These are subject area experts, and they can help you on a one on one basis or as a whole class. And last but not least, we talked about the research databases located on the library's webpage. These are used in seeking academic resources. These put together all of the journals that we have access to into one little area uh, and allow you to be uh, searching those topics and research uh, issues that you might have in your class. All, most, most of the information in our research databases can be used in academic papers, but you still want to remember to use the crap test to make sure that the resource that you have in front of you is useful and worthy of being put in an academic paper. While we're on the subject of research databases, we occasionally have to use a password to access those and you can access those passwords on the library's blog. The library's blog is located at this web address up here. To access the passwords, slide over on the right hand side to passwords click on the remote access passwords link and you will see the access passwords for all of the databases we have access to here at St. Augustine's University. If you're accessing offline, excuse me, if you're accessing off campus, you probably will have to enter one of these passwords to come into each of the different databases that we have access to. As if you can't review enough, first rule, everybody should know it by now, don't panic, we can help you. The librarians are here in the library. You can also access our contact information on the library's webpage. We've got social media, don't forget to follow us, like us, learn all the kind of nerdy crazy things that we've got going on our social media. The library consultants over um, here at the library, you can access them one-on-one -on -one, or you can uh, stop by the library and we can help. Our research databases, all of that good stuff, all of that good research crammed into one little small area. Most of the information that's on the research databases can be used in your academic papers, but don't forget to use something like the crap test to evaluate those sources to make sure that they are worthy of going in your academic papers. 
what good is writing a great paper on crummy sources? And then last but not least on this round, we've got passwords. Don't forget that some of the access or some of the research databases require passwords and those are located on the library's blog over on that right hand side, the imaginary clickers circling it. And you can access those on campus, off campus using those passwords. As our Library 101 train pulls around the corner for the final turn, the last thing that we're going to talk about here is print materials. Print materials are reference resources, nonfiction, and fiction books. They are all located on the second floor of the Prezell R. Robinson Library. We're going to talk real quickly about three simple searches that you can use in the catalog to help you locate works that you might use in your papers and your research projects or for fun reading when you have time. Those three simple searches are going to be a subject search, a title search, and the author search. You can locate the library's online catalog using our website. Scroll down to the search WorldCat Discovery. The first of the simple searches that we are going to run is a subject search. You can type in any subject that you might be researching or have an academic paper on in the search bar and then hit search. The key to any search on our library catalog is to make sure that St. Augustine's University is clicked in the held by library. Back to subject searching. Once you've run a subject search typing SU colon in the subject, you will notice that all of the books in a subject search will have that subject in common. Next up on our simple searches is a title search. If you are looking for a specific book, you can type in TI colon and then the title of that book, then hit search. If the library has that book, you can click on the title of the book you were looking for, then scroll down to the call number to find out where the book is located on the second floor of the Prezell R. Robinson Library. Last but not least is an author search. If you are seeking out a particular author, you can type in AU colon and then the author's name, hit search, and if the library has any of the books by that author, they will appear. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, here's your final review. Library rule number one, don't panic. The library has librarians, don't forget that. The library's website has the catalog, the databases, the library consultant information. Our social media's got how to post and fun nerdy things. The library blog has lib guides and how to guides. Library consultants are here for one-on-one -on -one help and they are experts in library resources on the subject. Don't forget your research databases. All of the information, most of the information is going to be useful in an academic paper, but please still use the CRAAP test to evaluate those sources. Don't forget your passwords are located on the library blog over here on the right hand side. And last but not least, you've got print materials. They're on the second floor of the library. Don't forget on your catalog searching, which is here at the library's website, a subject search is SU colon, then the subject. A title search is T. I colon and the title of the book you're looking for. The author search is AU colon and the author you're looking for. 